This is a Neko Media Podcast. What's your pleasure, sir? Welcome to a new Cinebite number 12. I'm your host, Annika Pussyfoot. Today we'll be going over our top picks for romance films. And some of these picks are just... I don't think they know what romance is. Anyway, returning to the show, our fellow friends and podcasters, John and Rachel of the Don't Go Down That Road podcast. Chaos ensues and arguments begin at the get-go. I will throw down... I bet you on will. y'all picks. All right, look, I appreciate, picks. I appreciate the Fifth Element. I get it. Fun. It's an awesome movie. Oh, so there I'm the asshole. Love. Okay. Yeah. People start backstabbing each other. So stop being a dick and let Ono pick his movies. Oh, <laughs> Ono's friend now. I see how it goes. <laughs> we also learned some secret tips on courtship from the expert John. So like speak on us a little bit. When you wanted to woo Rachel, what did you do? Did did you make like a little? <laughs> you make a little mixtape, John? No, we just went camping. Everyone has their own perception of what a romantic film is. So, what's your number four? Let, it, let, what, let what, me what, guess. What, 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 Can what, I guess it? Can yeah, I yeah, guess yes, yes, yes. Uh, it's Titanic. <laughs> Fuck you! Come on, dude! <laughs> the convo also goes on tangent. Yeah. Ever and ever, and he's gonna be lonely, and I'm like, this is super fucking sad. Yeah. Wait, an AI? That's yeah. AI, yeah. No. He's gonna he's gonna outlive all his human parent no, loves. That's not the. That's not how it ends. He went to sleep. It's like I your iPhone or your Amazon yeah. taking a nap. No, no, no nobody. The ending hint. Really, y'all need to clarify what a romance film is before y'all make lists. The Seno Six. Don't go down that road. Horror movie podcast. John and Rachel. Horror movie podcast. Don't go down that road. Horror movie podcast. John and Rachel, a horror movie podcast. And don't you forget it. Don't go down that road. And in this corner, we have a small group of movie fans and Cenobites. Like for real, we have a Cenobite on the show. The host of this movie podcast is a talking cat. And she has such sights to show you. Roll call, mock, stay radio. Oh no, go watch movies. What's up, fuckers? Lucid dreams. The box, we came. Now you must come with us. Taste our pleasures. Welcome to a new Cinebite. Yep. Cinebite 12. Uh, we'll be going over Ceno 6 top romance films. Uh, today we have special guests, friends, fellow podcasters, John and Rachel of the Don't Go Down That Hi. Road podcast. Hello. All around weird swingers, <laughs> lifesavers, and farm pokers. Cow pokers. Uh, yeah, for fork holders. Yep. And <laughs> I think thing? I was thinking pitchforks. Pitch forks. Fork holders. Yeah. Oh, pitch, pitch, pitch where your fork mind holders. goes, bro. <laughs> they are about to embark on a three to five year odyssey doing super cool ass shit while broadcasting it to us via podcast and on their YouTube channel, which I assume is getting ready for production. Say hello, guys. Hey. hey. <laughs> I'm Ray. And I'm John. <laughs> She's John, <done>, obviously. <laughs> Best laugh ever. Uh, yeah, no, we're uh, horror. we've been on once before, and thanks for having us. To we go down road horror movie podcast where we take two horror movies, make fun of them, and put them together in a figurative fight to see who would win in a battle in an alleyway, <laughs> an alleyway street whatever, corner yeah. arena. You choose of your choosing, yeah. But you so got to tell them about the super complicated technical algorithm. Well, it is based on five seconds of thought, <laughs> and that me and Rachel basically picture the world where these things, just the characters exist. It doesn't matter if the movie was good or bad. It's the idea of these two characters met in, met in real life, 
which one would win. So we break it down that way, not on box office or we enjoyed the movie or not, because there's been many <laughs> movies that have been very yeah, really shitty that have won yeah. battles. So you never know who wins or loses. Yeah, I know. You, you, game, even you, to us. You guys do that. You did the K for me, even though apparently you hate that movie. <laughs> I, I do. Racist against monsters, this guy. <sighs> and yeah, I can't yeah. believe on your last <laughs> Cine 6, you said the you K know was that. a good fucking... <laughs> Iris movie. I should just slap you. I There's love that one. movie. I did that to you guys that as not a, a joke. I did that as like a serious <laughs> thing. Like when I suggested, like, here you guys do the case. Literally, they talk about a virus thing for like two seconds. It's not even a thing. It's viral, John. It's viral. <laughs> uh, so uh, before we get started, if you hear this, <laughs> our picks are different. And if you hear this, it means our picks are the same. But if you hear this, that means three of our picks are the same and you hit the sin of six. If you hear this, all four of us got the same pick. And go. Top romance yeah, cool. movies. Top romance movies. Okay. Ono, you're number six and first. At number six, I have Luke Besson's, one of his masterpieces. Angel A. No, the, the fifth element. What? <laughs> Oh, my God. oh, the fit everybody. The fit element the is fit love. Has, yes, it's love. That's the fit. <laughs> element. <laughs> yeah, aren't that shit out serious? Tell, tell her, Corbin. Tell of her. all the movies, this we're doing it trying to do a serious romance list, this guy. Because they, multi pass. <laughs> she Corbin Dallas multi pass. Chicken, get the chicken, chicken, and yeah, chicken like totally. This was like. Who will 1996 not thanks you Mia Jovovich just cuz you have <laughs> just cuz you have a love interest for Mila doesn't mean it's a romantic <laughs> yo john it's mia uh, it is mia oh is it okay well i feel mia like Jovovich. he has a love interest for every chick that movies we've been seeing these days you should have seen him at beauty and the beast oh my god it took you, my breath away it took my breath you, away i told you you can't say stuff like okay. that when we talk about girl movies guy number 6 i picked <laughs> The Princess Bride. Yeah! <laughs> As you wish. I mean, As I, you I wish. Because I, I didn't put that on my list. Yeah, it's got everything. It's got a giant. I know. It's got sword fighting, torture, humor. I yeah. love that movie. <laughs> but it also has, like, really, like, in their own myth of the fighting styles. And it'd be like, oh, you're trying to come at me at Caponera. Well, you don't know that I know the defense <laughs> of this. And I also am a right-hand guy. Oh no, you're pretty good. Left oh. hand, yeah. But I'm also red hand too. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? Right, right? That's like your world I rocked. Say, I will say for that with the time that movie came out it was like the eighties. It was it was great yeah, storytelling though. It kept you going. And it's the got whole Fred time. Savage in it. it and does. I loved the Wonder Years. So. Oh no. <laughs> what would and you Columbo, do when you if I sang out of tune? <laughs> right, right. Would you stand up and walk out on that song that show sucked. Anyways. Great what? movie though. Yeah, I hated the Wonder Years, bro. <laughs> it soundtracks my most tedious years. <laughs> the ones you were wondering what's going Hello. on. Hello. <laughs> oh shit, I'm third. Yeah, okay. Oh, you're right. He does it? Yeah. that. <laughs> <sighs> Me, Joe Black. <laughs> Fuck. Oh. What was that? Oh, really? All three of you guys? Oh. <laughs> Fuck you guys. Everyone's going to meet him. He's basically who death yeah. falls death falls in love. Guys, oh. that's not a thing for any of you. Uh, not the best best thing about that movie is Brad Pitt getting hit by a car. Damn. <laughs> yeah, that was hard. That's some haterade speech. That's no, I like hate. Brad Pitt, but that was the only exciting thing of that movie. Yeah, it's not an either. exciting movie. It's a slow yeah, burn about cars. the crawl towards love. Oh, my God. Like he he falls in love with ghost. Claire right Claire Fiorlani Fior, Flor Lotto. and then he has to leave at the end. Like he doesn't get the girl. He doesn't have to. He chooses to because he loves her. Death, learn how to love. I have a whole thing written here, but I won't say it. <laughs> he learned to love and then he left. Okay, let's hear John's. Let's hear John's number six. Uh, it's a it's a more recent film. It's uh, Sing Street. Dope. Hey, you guys turned me on to that. Fucking great. It's by the guy who did once and then that bullshit begin again, but it's fucking great. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's a, it's a bit, it's about some Irish kids in the eighties and they try to make a band to impress this girl and We've it kind of works it. out in his favor, but it's, 
<laughs> it's just weird. Like it's a fun movie and it's about kind of young love, but it's not mushy to the point where you're like, ugh. No, it's not it's, really mushy at all. Yeah. And their songs are actually pretty decent. They are, and they're so jammy of that '80s new wave emo, you know, kind of deal. It's fucking really good. Yeah, no, nah, good pick though, John. I can't nice bash pick. you for this. Good one, good one. All right, it's pretty low though. But you're right. <laughs> this is a serious romance list. So for that to make the list, that's good. Is once yeah. on your list anyway? All right. Uh, no, it's not. <laughs> number five. Well, then you are fucked. Step into my office anyway. Number five. Number five. I have. <laughs> 2013, it's a French movie. Oh, God. Blue is the warmest color. <laughs> oh, about girls. Oh the gay girls. Oh, my God. How about the Lysibians? Lysibians. This is like three hours. Like, half of this you movie. You just had just... to be that indie guy who's eating oh, vegans my... with hemp clothes. They, oh, <laughs> they eat spaghetti oh, in this one. Art house. And, oh, oh, art house. The world <laughs> dies for your choice. Draw. I'm so original with my fedora. <laughs> right, right. It's not like I had a ska band fedora. Ska. Oh. So I just puked the lid onto my vodka. Blue is the warmest yeah. color. It's, it's very intense. Oh, just say and, your piece and then we'll move on. Like, it's also about heartbreak because you can't have a romantic movie yeah, without yeah. heartbreak. No, yeah, yeah. And, <laughs> but it, it gets a little too French in this movie. Um. Yes, because yeah, like, it's French. It's <laughs> it's a movie you watch just and you've movie seen it. In French. <laughs> it, it was it's number movie. one movie in French. We oui, French oui. movie in French. We. Oui. Oui. Yeah. I want to understand that statement because we watched a movie recently for a podcast, and this first half started out in American English, and then half of it just switched to French Canadian, and everybody was speaking French for the rest of the movie. Hey, right? what movie is that? Oh. Though? Okay. So it, it gets real French. I, I can get that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, drop yeah. us the title. Yeah, maybe we've seen it. Probably not because it sounds gay, but what's up? What was the movie? Oh, it was called Disco Path. Never seen it. <laughs> Man card intact. My number five pick was Natural Born Killers. Wow, but okay. <laughs> okay. I see that, that one is, coming. Okay. Like, oh, awesome love. I was, so right. I was a teenager when they came out. And yeah. Easy for each other. Yeah. You know? That's true. I like that movie a lot. I, I'm surprised I never put that parallel together. Yeah, man. The parallel that's yeah, a love man. story. It's all about love, <laughs> dude. dude. Love, man. In like a weird yeah. ass fucking um, satirized way. Yeah. Different. It is weird. I only t- I, I couldn't get into that movie. Like I what? Get it, like... Well, then you've never loved a girl with a mustache. <laughs> I'd, I'd have to get through it again. Oliver Stone ruined Tarantino's vision, but it's still a more than watchable film. Like you can see, I think it's a good yeah. film, man. And yeah, I like okay. the soundtrack. You can connect like, to it. The soundtrack's good, and then the, like the parodies they yeah. used in the film, like going from yeah. sitcom right, 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 to like right. an Easy Rider film, only murder. <laughs> right, right. Robert Downey to Jr. a prison riot. Robert Downey Jr.'s character is fucking insane. Yeah. And I don't know. Satire on- yeah. That bag of meat that Dangerfield drops, and it's like dropping meat during the whole scene. That's all I could see, and that's all that still I still see. It's so gross. Actually, <laughs> technically, Woody Harrelson drops the meat. Right oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, well, somebody does. Apparently, super fan. Okay, okay, no respect. You better go upstairs before I molest you. Like, <laughs> <laughs> right, that was a little heavy for my teenage mind to comprehend. Head. Like, oh, I only came in your room because I thought you was your sister or some shit. Like, oh. <laughs> yeah. So what's your number five, Mox? My number five is The Last of the Mohicans. Oh, oh, oh I love that oh, one. Damn it. Oh, oh no, you but just got face, son? Yeah, that was okay. <laughs> oh, okay. What? I mean. Okay, he's like, I got to go. I'm going to leave you here by this waterfall. I will come for you. This life or the next, I will come for you. That's what he said? That's, oh. Yes, that's what he okay. says. Oh, okay. As he, yeah, it looks like he abandons her, <laughs> yeah. but he comes back and murders everybody in the troop, wow. and like she, basically yeah. saves her. Um, what's his name? But she doesn't really need saving. Yeah, she doesn't really. No, that was a little sister. Oh, the little oh. sister died. The yeah. blonde one. Oh yeah. She was nice and hot. That is shit. And then fucking that was also her, her soup. Yeah. yeah. Well, the thing is, that movie, like, I can see the love story. I get it. But I, when I watch that movie, I'm not looking into the love story because there's so much blood and murder, right? <laughs> yeah, no, it's just a good movie though. It's, it's great. Movie. Michael Mann before yeah. he got I don't know what happened to him. All I'm right, my pretty... number five. Yeah, here we go. Is uh my girl. Oh, oh my god, what a weak sauce, dude. Oh. Oh. 
<laughs> you mean between Dan Aykroyd? And was his name Thomas? Aykroyd? Was his name Thomas J? Or is that from something else? That it's not even really between just Dan the Dan Aykroyd thing. Like literally the kids, like Macaulay. Like there was a love there. There and, was. You know, I just oh, I hate that. Ooh. And he, and he when when he passed, you know, he did it to you know. Was it was her name Zelda or Velda or something? Velma? Vita. Vita. Yeah. Yeah, Velda. he went to go get her ring, right? Oh, yeah, and he got yeah. fucked up by bees. He was allergic to bees. Who <laughs> dies from bees in the world? So I could say that he loved her, and it was a love story. In that he way. did. He did. No, no, you're right. It is. It is. It is very much qualifying. It is. I just, I'm just surprised that a big bear dude like you, that's your movie. <laughs> My God. Especially since we talked about blood in the you're gonna last be one. Really surprised. You're going to be really surprised at some of my picks. Then. I think I am. <laughs> My girl is just the star guy. Number four. I'm going to go with uh, 2011 Perfect Sense. What the fuck is this movie? This is what? the one. <laughs> it's the one with... Uh, <laughs> Ewan McGregor and um, Eva Green. Okay, I like Eva Green and Ewan McGregor, <laughs> but what the fuck is this movie? Like the... Your all-time list now. No, it's not an all-time list. This is exactly that! <laughs> this is exactly this is in the your moment. all-time list! It's not going all-time, <sighs> but it's that a really sounds, good movie. Honestly, I'm sure it is. I haven't seen it, but that sounds like a movie for, like, honorable mentions. <laughs> in my opinion. It sound, just from the title, you're right, John. Did y'all see the movie Blind? Sloppy. Blindness? Sloppy. No, I have so, not. It's the one with, have um, you ever seen I Love You, Philip Morris? That's another you. I have character. until the middle yes. part, and then I turned it off when I realized what it was about. <laughs> Anyways, well, that's though. A oh, no. story. It, it was, yeah. Perfect sense. Uh, the, the, the whole world is losing senses. Oh, no, you did tell me about this. It does sound yeah. pretty good, yeah. Yeah. We, Sorry, I, I it, dogged it, you. It's oh, actually. What's her name? Eva Green. Eva Green. Eva Green. Um, is she the one in that horror on she's, Showtime? Um, uh, she's like, yeah, Penny. Possessed, Penny yeah, dreadful. dreadful. Ugh. Yeah, but yeah, that's her. I like her. And she was in Casino Royale. Yeah. Oh, is she the main girl in the shower? Yeah, that's one. And then he's being all <laughs> sensitive after he's being like a cock to her the whole time. She's like crying and he's like holding her in the shower. Like I thought, she's, that she's, part is pretty sensitive. Oh no. <laughs> this this movie's about okay. John's so, writing it down. Um, <laughs> The the whole world is losing their senses one like one sense at a time, so it starts off with um, I think it's smell, but then something weird happens. So it's this couple, and like, so they they lose smell, and then I think they lose um, hearing. Touch goes last, probably. No, actually, they don't refer to touch as okay. a sense. Well, they, it's the fifth one, right? But like, or it's, well, that just it's makes one of the perfect sense. sense. <laughs> that makes perfect, but it, it's not pertinent to the story. Um, so like it, it ends with everyone losing their eyesight, but like, I mean, I like hearing and talking and <laughs> smelling and stuff, but I mean, it basically comes down to the sensation of touch. Right. But like, but anyway, that, yeah, the movie, uh, it, it goes dark after they lose their eyesight, but like Ewan McGregor but, and Eva Green are like, even when you're blind, you can still say it all. they're like, uh, it's kind of a broken relationship <laughs> because before you lose a sense, there's like a, something happens first, like. Before they lost their hearing, I think it's like everyone gets yeah. angry, and like that's a major right. symptom. And like they kind of broke up, and like before you lose your sense of sight, now you have this feeling of listeners. like like euphoria or like of everyone's happy. Like it's that most happiest moment in their life when you're before the touching. lights go out. Okay. And then the last scene, it's them. They see each not other. Touching. Like it's getting blurry. Oh, like, okay, but they still they, it ends with it, having the sense of it, touch as your sight goes. Yeah, so they that's end in embrace. Dope. That could work. So it's kind of like a. It's like the last memory like that a you Black hinge Mirror on. Episode. <laughs> Black Mirror is weird, right? It could be. Fuck. Or like a Twilight. Yeah. Twilight I seen film. the game show one, and the prime minister got a fuck a pig one. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So my number four pick is Dirty Dancing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're a girl. I'm sorry to be Good that way. Girl. I'm sorry to be that way, nice. but <laughs> you're <laughs> such a girl. I you knew it'd be on your list. Patrick Swayze's gonna come dance with me. Well, not anymore, but that's the song you picked because I feel I like the one. I've been meaning to tell you. No one likes that one. How does nobody like Hungry Eyes? That's the best song on that whole thing. It's like 
Mox is the kind of guy that likes Dirty Dancing Havana Nights. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm really not. I'm the kind of guy who would like things that he'll lie to, but not that, bro. Ugh. Dirty Dancing. I didn't even bother watching it, but just because nice. it got that fucking sicko from Itu Mama Tambien. Number four, Pride and Prejudice 2005, directed by Joe Wright. <laughs> Disgusting. Boring. Uh, boring. Uh, have you seen it before uh, you talk smack? The title is boring. No, but I know the story. Well enough. Actually, I did see the 2005 one. Yeah. And it was just boring. It's oh yes. Well, <laughs> it's really yeah. That's all I got to say Jane about Austen's that. Jane is a shit. She is. Not. Okay. My John. number four. <laughs> yeah. Is John number four. The Notebook. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and you can talk shit. Oh, this guy. That movie is fantastic. Okay, the ending oh. is phenomenal. No, it's not. Makes everybody cry. I don't oh care. On, speak on. Yeah, everybody did cry in the theater except me and other yes, men. No. My God. The, the whole... John, I, just don't tell the, just tell the truth, John. You didn't cry at the theater. I know you didn't. Come on. No, because I rented it. <laughs> did you Did you cry at home, at the home viewing? I hope The not. very end, I really like. Yeah, so that means cry. Wow. Yeah, no, I did. I feel I don't know you that well yet. Okay, we're getting... Well, we're, we're, the notebook was so unclimactic. There. It was so un... He just has a thing about what? things like that. I just... I didn't like... I didn't like it. It was, it was good up there until... There was an old man that held his dying wife. That's what I'm telling him. He wouldn't call that romantic. John, I call that romantic. What? That was romantic. He says that's not romantic. Is, I don't know. Who am she I talking is, to? No. She is Crazy. demented. Where she comes lucid just for a little bit to realize that's her true love that she's loved. And then they both life. die together. No. I, I see the romance. Yeah. I see it. She, I see she it. She died not thinking that was the husband. She no, back... she came lucid before they died, guy. And then yeah. went back to like, She oh. even says his name. <sighs> she's like, no, it was us or some shit like that. You guys need to watch this movie called Perfect Sin. Where <laughs> oh, bomb <laughs> on. Oh, no. That makes no, yeah. no, but oh no, I'm not against you. I do not like this movie, but I'm telling you, it is romantic. It is a romantic movie. You need to throw that movie away, lock it up in a vault. I feel Ono got broken up to around the time that this came out, so that's probably like bearing on his soul. Okay, number three. My, you might agree on this. Uh, Did you? A anyway, fair, I'll ask you. An later. affair to remember. Oh, you can put that. Yeah, put that I recommended that he watch this movie for another show we had. Yeah, and it was good. It's dope. It was the a classic. Dope. Yeah, but Love see, like, movie. I've only heard, I've heard so many things about it up until that. Like, I always thought it ended at the the Empire State Building. I like, nope. The, yeah, not even close. And so it's when I got like the there, halfway mark. Yeah, I was like, there's so much more to this. Why do people keep referencing that part? Because that's the, the most climatic junction. What? It's not, it's not even the end of the movie. We've got so much movie left. So people should reference the part where she, um, what's his name, Ferrante, he, fi he finds out that she's Okay, guy who doesn't win. I feel that's who you're liking in this <laughs> scenario. Oh, okay. Has that, has your love of this movie been colored by your experiences? No, it was a good movie. That's how you tell, that's how you tell romantic right, right, right. stories. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So you're the Cary Grant guy yeah. or whatever. I, I would agree. Like it's a good movie. Absolutely. Very, I love that movie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That guy's baller as fuck. Right, I tried to. I tried to. For some reason, for this list, I didn't put any like classics like that down. Yeah. Me well, either. There's me so either. Many. But, uh, yeah, there are right. Got, yeah. Yeah, because, there's so many good. Movies. Nosferatu. Because this is not an all time <laughs> list. <laughs> Wolfman, which is kind of. But anyway. Is it Mary Shelby's Frankenstein? Shelley, son. Oh, Shelley. Yeah. For real, Shelby. Yeah, Shelby. For real, Shelby. Yeah, Mary Shelby's Frankenstein. No wonder we are not getting hits. They Rachel, think we're a three. horror cast. <laughs> Rachel, take go it ahead. over the show. Number three. Oh, yeah. Anyway, good pick, Ono. Nice number three. Yeah, that was right. a good pick. Yeah, we'll leave it. One, yeah. yeah, we'll leave it to Rachel Cannon. This is probably the first one we all agreed on. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> they, you know, like um, you know, like le lesbians or. People losing senses or the fifth element. No, we just don't agree that it should <laughs> like end up on the list <laughs> just because for no reason. <laughs> all right, all right. Cool, cool, cool. My number three is anticlimactic because I picked John's four. So I have the notebook. Again, that's a <laughs> That's why high. you did, John. That's, that's why you say we all agree high. on. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather watch Bicentennial Man. 
That was more romantic than the notebook. <laughs> No, but like the notebook is more classically you guys do, like, classified you guys as do, like sad movies one day. Ooh, yeah, <laughs> we Start should. I mean, AI, AI for some reason. Oh, I, thought I that. hated that movie. Yeah. Oh, see, what? that's why he doesn't have a heart. That's why he didn't. I got it. plenty <laughs> heart, son. Did you not see my list? It's box number three. Is it me? Yep. Mm-hmm. All right, homies. Bridges of Madison County. Oh, oh that's a good one. Oh man. Fuck. He's my dog right Because you own the book, don't you, Mox? Yeah. So what, guys? And I told this guy to read it and watch the movie before we make our list. And guess what? It's not on his list. <laughs> He's always in the bathtub hoping somebody would come in. <laughs> fucking, fucking guy. Bridges of Madison County. Dude. Oh. Here, just let me read from here. Okay. The leopard swept over her again and again and yet again. <laughs> And a long prairie wind and rolling beneath him, she rode on that wind like some temple virgin toward the sweet, compliant fires marking the soft curve of oblivion. Oh, I thought you were going to say like soft curve of like someone. Can you just listen? I feel like you were touching your phone and thinking in your brain a retort, but not feeling it. You need to watch it. Oh, those words. All right, you're just going to hate me for my number three. You're going to hate it. All right, it's another Nicholas Sparks. Oh. Venture, oh, and God. it's a Dear walk John. to remember. Well, a walk to remember. Well, well, a walk to remember. That actually made me cry on accident hey, 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 in front hey, of a, bu- hey, a bunch hey, of no. dudes. So, look, look, look. There's a story behind it. My grandmother never watched a movie ever. You don't have to read Nicholas Sparks. You don't have this to. This movie came out. She wanted me to take her to the movie theater to watch it. And I've oh never my been God, the John, you're breaking my heart. And wow. she watched it and she cried and I couldn't help but cry. And so I've always liked this movie because of it. Jesus. And it reminds me. It marks us. It was that movie. That, that was a good one. Uh, two places at once. I two do hate the line once. though, where she goes and she does say, "I told you not to fall." Fall in love with me. me, but John, that's uh, fine. It's Mandy Moore. But you're my only hope, or something. Wasn't that a song? From that? No, that's. Um, that's well, what the movie did that was fucked up. The the movie the the story took place in the fifties. And then the movie made it more modernized. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I, well, I wouldn't know. I didn't read the book because you're a weirdo. In the 50s, but... it would have been better because it's just, you know what? <laughs> but the leopard was over her. <laughs> the leopard was ramming her in the butt, oh and God. then it shot. Anyway, oh, it was geez. romantic how they wrote it. That's not what I would do. But anyway, no, no, no. Hey, good pick, bro. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. I'm glad. Rachel looks at me in disgust. Yep. Uh, at number two, I have uh, <laughs> Natalie Portman, Ashley Judd, Where the Heart Is. Where the Heart Is. Good one, good one. Were you a Walmart baby? I'm just wondering. Typic Black Swan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck that movie. Oh, that movie is so intense and hideous. Yes. Awesome. But Where the Heart Is. Hideous oh, awesome. my God. It's, it, it's about... Where the heart is? <laughs> yeah. It's in your chest. It's, 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 I feel like we haven't that? got the pulse of this couple because yeah. they're hating this, but they also love things like Nicholas Sparks yeah. and the Princess Bride. <laughs> so they obviously have heart. Just is it bad taste or I don't know. No, this one? But it's I've got... never. I've honestly, I've never seen that movie, so I wouldn't. What? Know. You, it's so oh well. That's good. why they it would love it. They so would love it. They would love, love it. This movie. I'll give it a chance. And, uh, give it a shot. Okay. What would the mashup of their names be? I feel like Ron is the least <laughs> weird mashup. Ron. It's, Ron. it's, it's Jachel. Jachel. That sounds... Ooh, you just made a black name. I feel like... That's all right. No, I mean, that's good. Yeah, that's good, but, you know. We like the gays and the blacks. <laughs> <laughs> ooh! Caught you. You don't supposed to say the blacks. <laughs> Anyway, the, uh, okay. yeah, okay. yeah. The my mom says the Orientals. <laughs> you mean like the rugs? No, I'm just kidding. I told her, mom that's <laughs> the carpet. Humong- I can't even, mom. That's a lot. Don't say that in public. What? <laughs> that's the Orientals, mom. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> Orientals. Wait till number two. Uh, my number two, Broke Back Mountain. <laughs> Fucking, I knew we was going to get it. Why would you love this? Like, do you have a, one, do you have a connection to gays? Two, do you have a connection to cowboys? Three, are you just in love with Ledger and Gyllenhaal? Because other than it being a gay cowboy shit, what was good about this movie? Look, 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 look. I'm going to defend her right now. 
The thing is, Ang Lee is a great director. He is. He brought us Hulk. And it was still a love story, even though a lot of people don't agree with that. No, it was a love story. It was a love story. And, the fireworks part. And it was visceral. And it was yeah. moving. It was, and moving. It was visceral and moving. It was. It was. And for a movie about that subject matter, they didn't show too much right. of that subject matter to where it's like. Uh, except the rough butt sex in the tent. Well, All you saw was jeans yeah. and people moving around. But there was there's butt been, sex, John. There's been comedies with more butt <laughs> sex than that movie. <laughs> Right, but right. it's the fact that this was supposed to be a real spin. And also, I ended up watching this movie at the theaters, unbeknownst Is to the topic. <laughs> <laughs> well, he said it was an action. He said, yeah, there was definitely action in that movie. There's a lot of action in that one. Anyway, number two, Braveheart. <laughs> Braveheart. Yes. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Like, yeah, that's a good one. Mel, Mel Gibson yep. does... um. His wife is so beautiful. She's the one from 28 Weeks Later. Sophie Marceau? Yeah. yeah. No, isn't she the French prince? Yeah, yeah. Oh, his first wife, they get yeah. slit. Yeah. Yeah, she's um, in 28 Weeks. I want to weeks. kill all those guys so badly, but also I do believe in Prima Nocta. <laughs> You're terrible. terrible. <laughs> You're terrible. Why is that terrible? If I'm the lord of your land, then I should have the first lay of all brides. Oh my god. If I'm the lord of your land. See, I didn't know that was like a deleted scene. Maybe it's an English thing. I'm Atkins, right. so. Oh. Lord Atkins. <laughs> my number two. <laughs> <laughs> Please, yes, before it gets crazy. Uh, Jerry Maguire. Hey, dope one. <sighs> one, you had me a hello. Two, what do you want from me, my soul? Did Odo just go, uh? <laughs> Even if you don't like the love story in it, it's still a good movie. Yeah. It's a great movie. Yeah. Like, I should be happy that I'm in love and married to a man who loves my kid. Huh. I didn't yeah. realize. I have two Cameron Crow movies. Huh. What's your first oh. one? I just told you, Jerry Maguire. Oh, so your second one is Cameron Crow. Yeah. Don't be Vanilla Sky. Don't be Vanilla Sky. Don't be out. Vanilla Sky. <laughs> oh, you fucking... <laughs> I feel like no, well, see, well, a, no. It, has to it be could a, be other. It could be Aloha. It could be singles. You don't know. I feel like it wouldn't be. I feel like I should be. Aloha was mild, and singles was you know like climbing the charts. Anyways, honorable mention. Wait, wait, wait. We need John to explain us why Jerry Maguire is in number two. Oh, okay. I thought uh, he had me at Jerry uh, Maguire. She'll let you in her house. Well, just because the idea of this guy Don't who had everything and then loses right. everything, and then he finds like the people that he dates or his life is not going the way it is, and then this woman who likes him, even though he's like a complete asshole, and then they end up like kind of falling in love. She's not the type of woman that he would ever associate with, and he ends up doing that. But I just want to say, like, I thought that was cool. First class used to just be a better meal. Now it's a better life. Yeah. First class. John, do you identify with that specifically about hmm. the rebel who all of a sudden gets uh, uh, conscience? And then... be, I think it's I think it's more opposite. <laughs> oh, so she's Jerry Maguire, and you are. Oh, uh, oh my god! Where's your kid? No, I see here. A dirty kid with the glasses. <laughs> Jonathan Lipnicki. You said fuck. Yeah, you said fuck, Jerry. Uh, the fucking zoo is closed, so. No, that's a beautiful movie, dude. I actually studied yeah. that script. It is. I, well, actually, no, I feel I ashamed know. for myself that this is not on the list. It is. That's basically his last yeah. great film. Wow. His last great one. Okay. Honorable mentions now. I feel like there's yeah. more Jerry Maguire talk, yeah. but okay. <laughs> go for it go for it Ono. okay oh, number oh, one i got a titanic <laughs> hey please direct all your gay hate towards ono because it's, it's an honorable mention though but still it's on the <laughs> list son number two it's on my honorable mention too though yeah. what a oh, gay. A... uh i have high fidelity yeah john q said that's a great yeah, one. That's a good one that's a good top five is top it, five records is... yeah it's romantic, but it's it's more it's just it's a big breakup movie. How um, are we agreeing on the fucking honorable mentions than the regular? Because <laughs> yeah. I didn't think it was too romantic. That, right, it's not, but it's a it's, good one. It's, it's a good one. Yeah, it's a good one. It's about like everyone's cheating on each other. It's weird. Well, uh, Rob 
is mm-hmm. basically the fuck boy. So well, it's weird because then he's like so mad at his girlfriend. Yeah, but he's everything wrong that's been happening. Yeah. And like when he leaves Lisa Bonet and like he's just like, oh, whatever. No, that was a right decision. <laughs> and uh, number three, I got um actually uh Back to the Future Part Three. <laughs> the cowboy one. Yes, it's the West. So Robert. basically, you got Doc. <laughs> Broke back. A non-romantic movie, time really. Travel. <laughs> There's Broke like back one time subplot time. of romance. That's it. <laughs> no, you didn't think that was romantic? Like, he, he stayed back. Did I at 11? No, oh, okay. I didn't because nope. it was hard to watch. I, I was focused on to Nintendo. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, even yeah. Rachel, too. She yeah. was like, uh-huh. Yeah. No. Sorry, son. <laughs> Rejected. Okay. Well, now it's Rachel Cannon's turn. <laughs> right. Okay, go ahead, Rachel. Mentions. Yeah, honorable mentions. A Walk in the Clouds. Oh, that's a good one. And then my number two is 16 Candles. <laughs> my number three is Gone with the Wind. Yeah. Mm, wow. See, I don't know if I can watch that one. That one's too long. It that's is. like a three I and a half hour. I bought the DVD and then yeah. I sold it at a garage sale. <laughs> 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 no, but it's good. It's before being female and strong was cool. Yeah, if she's a badass bitch. I have, Scarlett I have O'Hara. too many Arvo mentions. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we'll list them all, bro. We'll tear them all apart. Anyways, we're still talking about Gone with the Wind. Mox says honorable mentions. Is it me? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Good choice, Rachel. Thank you. Because I have a lot of feelings about that movie, but I didn't put it in mind because it doesn't register for now, but that was a good one. That was a good one. Okay. <laughs> Number one honorable mention, Casablanca. Yeah. Yep. yep. That seems like a default kind of answer. Oh, hey, fuck you, guy. <laughs> default. With a huge C. I'm going to seem like I watch like a white movie sometimes. <laughs> right? Hey, John, fuck you, too. Have you guys seen it, though, before you fucking cast the first oh, stone yeah, of, of Jesus? Oh, well, yeah, I have. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. John, have you? <laughs> yes. We he, it. Yes, we own it. But have you watched it? I owned it for years before I watched it, John. <laughs> you fucking liar, did you? You didn't. Okay, but you're laughing because you owned it for years before you watched it, right? No, I watched it before I owned it. <laughs> it's it's one of my favorite movies of all time. I feel it was put together really well. And that it was well received because of all the work they put in. You know, Sir Claude Rains as like the cop who's trying to rein it in and Humphrey Bogart as the fucking what nightclub owner slash lounge singer slash fucking resistance helper guy. <laughs> you know, he, it, right? <laughs> he, he wants her to like have a life outside of what he could offer her. This guy she's with, he is doing up what they all needed to do at World War Two, and he couldn't offer her that. Okay. Despite loving her. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta lose for every the beyond you to win. Number two. The Princess Bride. E. Alright. Yeah. That's good. Really? E and not bad. That's right? an honorable mention. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, guy. Who hates fairy tales. <laughs> Number three, uh City of Angels. Oh, oh that's a good one. It's sad, but I love that movie. What is it? About? I love that movie. What is it about? Because I don't I just... want to go world to it. see me. Yeah. John knows. I just don't Google all. That's right. Because he had a time when he was wearing a mask from Slipknot. We're about the same age, so we oh. both went through. This that. is about an angel who becomes human, right? Yeah, after he falls in love with a surgeon. I heard on another podcast they called it a uh, mom rock. And I was what? like, oh, wow. Like Google Dolls is mom rock. That song came out, and everybody, all moms were like, oh my God. It's so true. <laughs> oh my God. Well, that's another thing. That's from the horse, though. I don't want to point that. I don't want to take credit. Wow. <laughs> we don't have all a right, clear my, brand. My, oh. Yeah, go, bro. All right, honorable mentions. I didn't number them. <laughs> it doesn't so, matter. I'm going to go through the list quickly. It's. Sleepless in Seattle. Yep. You've got mail. Yeah. I like that one. 
10 things I hate about you. Oh, my yep. God. <laughs> but mostly, <laughs> I hate your fucking combat boots or whatever, but I don't hate you. <laughs> Suck your dick. <laughs> I have yep. three reasons to hate you. <laughs> that's what happened. I feel that's what happened. No, oh, good picks, cool. though. Coolest, Titanic, and Revolutionary Road. What? Oh, Revolutionary War, the basketball movie? No, 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 no. The oh. one with DiCaprio. Oh, that's Glory Road. Sorry. And Kate Winslet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Glory yeah. Road's a basketball one. Number ones. Fuck all you guys is number ones. Um, my number one goes to Bastards. 2017's Beauty and the Beast. Okay. Live action. Okay, love, 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 love. Oh my okay. God. Love. It, okay, love. I cannot. <laughs> oh, they're gagging. That's oh all right. Just took, take a breath. It took my breath away, <laughs> and I hope it takes your lives away. Breath like, was taken. Is, just watch this movie. Just watch and you it. automatically like best romance. Movie. <laughs> <laughs> John, you're onto something. John, you're onto something. But the rest of his picks was so weak, dude. Be- best romantic movie ever of 2017 ever. <laughs> so far. <laughs> But um, okay, no, but this is like the it's lifetime like, list. I would have accepted if you said Beauty and the Beast from '91, I would have been like, all right. No, he did that on our last list, right? Because yeah, so. you have to look at it, you have to look at it this way, though. You got to see if it's going to really hold up. Oh, it will. Right. It, think, yeah, it will think, from oh. its uh, yeah, 170 it's million opening. <laughs> well, because that's a nerd not... like you who think that shit's so cool. All right. All right. Whoa, 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 John. <laughs> whoa, John. Whoa, 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 John. <laughs> Am I lumped into these nerds thing? Because I do this podcast, but I am no nerd, sir. My number one is Braveheart. Oh. There we go. That is a phenomenal ending when he's getting his guts torn out. Yep. And he just sees the love of his life and it's crying. <laughs> what do you think? Oh. That's, that's how I imagine my death, really. He lo- does he love <laughs> freedom more than his wife? Freedom is his wife. Oh, okay. They're one and the same, brother. So you think, uh, That's true. yeah, all right. Because not having freedom took his wife away, basically. Yep. Uh, Prima Nocta. Well, but hey, I still fully believe in Prima Nocta. So oh, I will, I will, I, I will love this movie and vote for this movie. But I will also say Prima Nocta should be enacted. Ah, just saying. Okay. I own so a real little. Quick, Rachel, what do you think Mox's number one is? Oh. Hmm. What is my number one? Okay, there we go. You guys won't guess it. Hell's Gate. <laughs> no. Dude, uh, I'm, I'm thinking dude, Love Actually. I'm, uh, well, that would have, but you're right. You're closer, John. I'm totally a romantic. I love blood and prima nocta, but I'm also, <laughs> I'm also very sensitive, you know? Like, I love things that affect the heart. Oh, then I, I change it to Lady and the Tramp. <laughs> <laughs> that should have made it, but it was about dogs. It was about dogs. 101 Dalmatians. All right, what is it? What's my Is it my turn? <clears throat> it is yes. your turn. The Piano by Jane Campion. Really? Yes. Mm-hmm. That's like weird. It's like... Uh, <laughs> Nobody wants to hear from you right now with like, that. It's about an angry love this, story. This is... Uh, it is! You know I mean? John, John, have you seen oh, it? You? Yeah, it is It is sort of an angry love story, John. It is. Because it's, it's arranged. There's no love in this. The love springs from... The tutelage of the piano. Uh, sure. <laughs> yeah. I feel like that's how I learned to <laughs> play the piano. That's why I don't know it that well. It stopped before it got real. All right. John, number one. My number one is Vanilla Sky. Uh, <laughs> this movie is more sad than it is. Oh, John, can you please it explain is. me it the is. ending? John still thinks, no, no, no. He <laughs> thinks the fake ending is the real ending, I'm thinking. <laughs> no, wait. When he That's the only for, way you would vote for this movie. John, so when he calls for tech support, right, at the end? Yeah. And he jumps off the building. Is he mm-hmm. waking up? Yeah. Yes. He's waking up, right? But yeah. Yeah. he doesn't have... Um, uh, Penelope Cruz, though, right? He's waking up. Yeah, she's post- she's irrelevant. <laughs> she wasn't in the story, really. Oh, we're in the future already, right? Oh no, no. Let, let me let me look. This is probably one of my top favorite movies. <laughs> it is such a good movie. It's so well. sad, though. Oh. I like it. Is, is this it's how sad. you and Rachel the, met? The God. sound. The sound. I'm gonna, st- I'm gonna yeah. study this movie awesome. and just go around to groups and be like, "Oh, hey, oh, you like Vanilla Sky? I like that too." Here's my thoughts. 
<laughs> the soundtrack was <laughs> evolved. Yes. Soundtrack was awesome. It was a great everybody twist. Says that. Okay. I, I think everybody watching that movie though didn't see any of that coming, unless they watched the foreign film called Span- Open Your the- Eyes. Which, which oh, he knows. Yeah. Cameron Diaz was crazy in that one. Cameron was oh, yeah. weird. Okay. But the, the, it is love because to the point that he wants to be with Penelope Cruz like that, he chooses that as his dream sleep is to have her involved. Mm. And then to find out at the end that she's gone, like all of his friends and everything's gone, but he still chooses to wake up. Like, it's just crazy. Like, he could just stay in with her forever, but it's just, I don't know. It's cool. It's a good movie. Yeah. So like and, and once he wakes up, he can't go back into the lucid dream, right? You know, he will, I don't think he has the money for it. Oh, they right. said he lost all his money, or he has enough to get him his fix, his face fixed, but he'll pretty much be broke soon. Yeah. So I don't know. It was just and I, I like part of me like I know it's not good to have a sequel, but I would love to have a sequel just to see what <laughs> yeah. happens. But I, see him camping and shit. Yeah. Jason Lee with um approximation. <laughs> infatuation or proximity infatuation you'd be like hey boy taylor get me that fish also do you know what happened to me when i was younger i had a mangled face and a couple chicks i love died but and this is the one that the saddest girl holding a martini is that a thing yeah, yeah. that's the line so wait that's, you guys are telling me look for movie. girls holding like, martinis yeah. it got is. it is this, this well, the is thing a... is, is like if, if I had to be in a dream state, I'd have Rachel playing in my head all the time. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Mox can be your tech support, and he's like, I'm it, gonna wake it, you it, up. <laughs> no, 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 no. But I'd be asking you weird questions, like, okay, okay, I'm gonna hit enter and what slash. But the line that she always said about when we are two cats, and yeah, when we're in the afterlife. Mm-hmm. Yes, I love that. Oh, yeah. like that whole part where they're going to the roof. In that elevator movie. ride, I want to watch it again. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Yeah. Some nerds the whole time, and I'm just like, like, I cried. I ain't gonna lie, it was fucking. You sad. cried at Vanilla Sky, really? Hell yeah, man. Maybe I gotta watch it again. I bought yeah. that DVD, but and Penelope Cruz plays the same character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and she's hot. Yeah, she's she's beautiful, but she's yeah. And see, it's it's funny. Love <laughs> drove him to somewhat happiness in a way, or kept him happy. But love is also what put him in there because Cameron Diaz was so in love with him and crazy. She fucked him up. Yes. <laughs> you came inside me three times. That means it's something special. It's like, that's insane. No, but that is special <laughs> if you think about it. Cool no. <laughs> three times. Like, All right. Well, that is the Seno 6 talk romance films. Yes. <laughs> with our homies. Don't go down there. According to us. <laughs> yeah, according to weird people we know. But thank you guys so much again for doing yep, this. Thank you for staying over late. And we yep. please check them thank out. Thank you guys for having We always want you. Not you, John, but Rachel. Uh, on the on the podcast. <laughs> yes. Because yeah. John, you always say such hateful things. Um, do it, do check it, do me, it, do Rachel, it. on uh, Don't Go Down That Road Horror Movie Podcast. That's the one. And uh, you can follow us on uh, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook at DGDTR Podcast. It's all the same. Or hit us up on our email, which is Don't Go Down That Road Podcast <laughs> at gmail.com. <laughs> Wait, is it PC it's at gmail.com? PC. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck up every time. Like PC, like podcast? And thanks, <laughs> thanks again, guys, for uh, having us yes. on. We had fun. We always have fun. Oh, it was yeah. a blast. <laughs> Goodbye, listeners. And check back for more updates. Because there will be pictures. Goodbye. This is a Nickel Media Podcast.